Hello guys, welcome back to Take Dose and in this video we will see the word break 2 problem which is from lead code number 140. So the prerequisite before watching this problem is to watch two of my videos. One is the word break problem where I have explained the backtracking approach, memoization DP as well as tabulation DP on solving the word break problem. The second thing you need to uh, see is implement try and it will be better if you watch my try playlist which I have already made. All these links will be present in the description below. You can go there and watch and then come back to this video. In this video, I will not be explaining the dynamic programming approach. Instead, I will be uh, talking about the try approach because dynamic programming was already explained in my previous video. So let's first read the problem statement. In this problem, given a string s and a dictionary of strings word dictionary, add spaces in s to construct a sentence where each word is a valid dictionary word. Return all such possible sentences in any order. Note that the same word in the dictionary may be reused multiple times in the segmentation. So let's see an example in order to get a better understanding. So let's say that we are given a word dictionary and let's say we have five words cat, cats, ant, sand and dog. Let us assume that we are given a string s which is cats and dog. And now we are required to find all possible valid partitions. Now what do I mean by uh, valid partitions? If I take this cats and dog and then I segment it into different words and I will insert space in between each of the words. Okay, so this is just a space. A space is uh, put in between two of the segmented words. Each of the segmented words must be valid. By valid I mean that this word must be present in the word dictionary. This word must be present in word dictionary. Okay. And this word must also be present in the word dictionary, right? So this is a valid sentence which is formed by segmentation of this entire string. Now we can form another sentence as well. If we just partition it uh, in between this T and S and then in between this D and D, then we will form cats and dog, right? And these are all spaces. So this is also another valid sentence. Now each of the word can be used multiple times. In this case, we do not need multiple instances. So it's totally fine. Now the idea for solving this problem was already discussed in the video of word break problem. I hope you have already seen that and you have come here. So the only thing we need to make sure is make only valid partitions and then apply recursion on the rest of the string. So when we are given a word dictionary, you can store this dictionary anywhere you can store it in map set or you can also store it in a try where try will be the most efficient one given a string you want to segment it right so where will you like to make the partition you can make the partition at any point like in between any two characters so you can create a partition here and you will say that the first word is this one and then you will recur for the rest of the string but you will take this word w1 only when this w1 exists in your word dictionary so p doesn't exist in word dictionary this is not a valid word okay so you cannot make this partition now when you cannot make this partition then i will try with the next partition now this is creating a word w1 now is p e present in the word dictionary no it is not present so this is also not a valid partition now i will try with this one is this present in this word dictionary you will see that yes this is present in the word dictionary which is pen right so this is a valid word now i will recur for the rest of the string so the rest of the string is and pen right i will recursively solve it now again i will try to create partition so let's create a partition in between a and n so the first word is a now a is not present as a word in word dictionary so this is not a valid partition now I can uh, create a partition between n and d. Again, n is not a, a valid word in word dictionary. And is a valid word, right? So I can create this word as w2. Okay, and then I will recur for the rest of the string, which is pen. Now in this pen, I can say that uh, I cannot partition in between p and d because p is not present in the word dictionary. Again, I cannot partition in between e and n because pe is not present in the word dictionary i can partition it after n okay because pen is present in the word dictionary you see now pen has been referred multiple times it has been referred two times but it's totally fine we can refer a word multiple times 
so now we will recur for the rest of the string and the rest of the string is empty and whenever we reach to the empty string case that means we have successfully created a valid partition and we will save it in our answer there could have been other possible valid partitions as well which we will see in the upcoming example so this is the idea like by creating the partition you should make sure that the word which you are um, which you are creating must already be present in the word dictionary okay so this is what i mean by make only valid partition this was explained in detail in the word break video and i hope you have seen that now what are the steps in this case in order to solve the word break 2 problem the first thing is we have to store the word dictionary somewhere so that we can make efficient matching right so you can uh, you use a map you can use a set but the most efficient data structure for matching that is searching for uh, the validity of a string if it is present in the dictionary or not is a try this is the most efficient one so we will build the try using all words of the word dictionary that means we will store all the words of word dictionary in the try now once you have done that then we will backtrack for all possible valid partitions and store all valid sentences so let's uh, take another example in this case uh, we have a word dictionary cat cats and sand and dog right now our given string s is let's say cats and dog so how do i make the valid partitions now let's say that i have made the first valid partition in between t and s obviously between c and a and a and t it will not work because c and c a are not valid words in the word dictionary so the first word moving from left to right where the valid partition will be created is between t and s so c a t is created right now this is a valid word so let's mark it as w1 and then i will recur for the rest of the string which is sand dog let's uh, make the left call first i mean i have just shown it like a recursion tree diagram so let's solve it by recursion i have sent the rest of the string sand dog right now where will be the first valid partition it will be here in between the two d's because sand is present in the word dictionary and dog i mean i don't care about dog right now i just care about sand sand is present it could not have been placed between s and a a and n and n and d because that will never create a valid partition on the left side okay so sand was the first valid partition moving from left to right that's for sure now i will recur for the rest of the string which is dog and now you will see that in between d and o you cannot create a partition in between o and g you cannot create only after g you can create a partition so that dog is present in the word dictionary and the rest of the string is empty when the rest of the string is empty that means you have created valid partitions and so i will save the entire answer while making the recursion call i will keep adding white spaces i'll keep adding white spaces in between the words right so that cats space sand space dog gets created and you can store this entire string in an array of string right you can push it into an array of string or a vector of string now i will recur back to this condition that means i had created a partition between d and d can i create any more partitions to the right i will try between d and o and sand d is not a valid word again i will try uh, between o and g sand do is not a valid uh, string in the word dictionary i will try after g now sand dog that means sand dog itself taking to taken together is not a valid word so no other valid partitions gets created so i will recur back now at this position i had created between t and s so i will try some other partitions so this partition will be removed now the next partition to be checked is this one right between s and a so is cats a valid word you will see that yes cats is already present in word dictionary we will use a try for searching for cats right how do i how do i use a try in this case you will see that when you are at a root and you are searching for cats then you will go to c a t s and you will see the word and value must be greater than 0 i had explained all these things in the implementation of try video so i will recommend you to watch that right now you will see that cats validity is correct you can also use a map to see to check the validity cats is present now when cats is present i will have to recur for the rest of the string because cats is valid so the rest of the string is and dog now if i create a, a partition here it will not be valid 
partition here will not be valid partition here will be valid because and is present in the dictionary right now i will recur for the rest of the uh, string which is dog and again i cannot create a partition here cannot create a partition here can only create a partition at the end where dog is already present in the dictionary and this is an empty string as soon as we reach to an empty string we will add this entire sentence into our vector of string that means array of string and i will keep adding spaces whenever i make the recursion call now i will move back from the recursion call and i will try some other partition i will try to put it here between d and o now and d is not a valid word again i will try the next partition now and do is not a valid word again and dog taken together is not a valid word so there is no other valid partition so i will move back now i will try with some other partition this is not a valid partition this is not a valid partition again none of them will be valid partitions okay so we have successfully found two sentences and these will be stored in our array of string and uh, in the problem it was mentioned that we can return the answer in any order so these two strings in an array will be returned okay that will be our result so this is the same thing now we can build a try where i have inserted cat cats and sand and dog and i have used the word end value if word end is zero all these values wherever i haven't mentioned word end value all those are zeros so this is word end zero this is word end zero and so on right word end indicates if a given word i mean if there is any word ending at a given node and the word end count indicates how many words are ending at this given character or this given node so here word end value equals 1 means at t starting from the root node at t we have one word which is ending which is present in our dictionary and that is cat okay so i guess you already know how to implement this try if you don't know then you should watch my video and this is the same example so i i will not be explaining it again now what is the time complexity for building this try what is the word dictionary size it will be order of total number of uh, characters isn't it total number of characters total number of characters means add the characters of word 1 word 2 word 3 and so on add all the characters we can uh, take it in a generalized format as number of words into the length of word you can you can say that the length of longest word or or, or the average length of word anything should be fine but i will say the length of longest word into the number of words that will be the time complexity to build this try okay once you have built the try this is the time complexity for building try once you have built the try uh, then you will have to also i mean do the partitions right so in the worst case how many partitions can you create this is the worst case example let's say that our word dictionary has a a a triple a and four a's so in this case the try will look like this a a a a is inserted so word end will be 1 here a a is inserted word end will be 1 now a triple a will be inserted okay i will have to write only a single a here okay i'll write a single a it will be word end 1 this will be word end 1 again an a is inserted word end 1 again an a is inserted word end 1 so at every node at least one string is ending all right so each of the partition point will have two choices each of these partition points how many partition points are there if we have m if m is the length of s that is length of string then we will have m partition points here you can see m partition point but this last one is not is is not actually a partition point so we will say that m minus 1 actual partition point and each of this partition point will have two choices either to include it or to not include it so total number of uh, strings which can be made is 2 to the power m minus 1 and if you take it in in order then it will be 2 to the power m how how are we getting 2 to the power m because if we take this string let's say a a a a now if we create a partition here it will be a valid word because a is present in the dictionary again this is let's say partition 1 now we can create a partition 2 and again this a is present in the dictionary because we can use the same word multiple times again this p3 is present in the dictionary and of course this p4 is also present in the dictionary right so this is one case now we will try all possible cases now we had included this partition 
we will try to exclude this partition 3 and make only partition 4. Again, this word is also present in the dictionary. So we have tried all possible combinations with a uh, two size word. Now I will try to uh, remove this P2. Okay, P2 is gone. Now P2 is gone from here and now P2 will be uh, made to point here. This is the new partition. So again, this word is present and P3, this word is also present, right? Now I will try the next partition point. P3 will, uh, P2 will come here. Again, this word is also present. So you see, it will, it will be exponential. It will be 2 to the power m minus 1 or you can say order of 2 to the power m. So this is the total time complexity of this entire approach. I hope you were able to understand this. Let us now look at the code. You can see that this is just the simple try implementation. Uh, this I have already explained in my implement try video uh, where I have created a node and used a constructor to get the new node. This is the root and this is how we insert in a try and then I have written the search in try function. Okay, so these are all uh, the same which we implement in a try. The main part of this program are only two functions. This is the word break function and this is the solver uh, which is the recursive program which I had written. Now in the word break uh, problem, here we were given the string and we were given the word dictionary containing all the words that is all the valid words. So what I will do is I will insert all these words in the try and once it once all of them are inserted, I will try to make valid partition. So I'm searching a word in a try. So let's say that cats and dog was given, right? Now what I'm doing is I'm creating a partition and I'm checking that is search in try search in try there is a function called search in try which will check if cats is a valid word which is present in the try so i'm using the substring function to uh, to segment this and check if it is present in the try if it is present in the try then i will recursively call the solve function to solve it and what i will do is i will send the rest of the string starting from if this is the ith index i will send from i plus 1th index till the last index so i will be sending this word and dog and i will be recursively solving it and while sending you see that i am taking an answer string in this case st and uh, i am adding a vacant space here right i am adding a vacant space and then i am recursively solving it so recursively solving means what if you get and dog and then again you create a partition check uh, for using the search in try function if it is present in try again recursively call dog and once uh, you you get all the valid partitions and you are left only with the empty string then your position will go to the last position of the string this will be position okay so if position equals s dot size then actually you have partitioned uh, you have made all valid partitions you you have successfully segmented this entire string into valid partitions you have reached to the end and so in the answer answer is what answer is a array of string in the answer array of string you will push the given sentence okay and then you will go back go back in recursion and finally all the valid sentences will be contained in answer and that will be returned so this is basically the entire code i will provide the link for this in the description section I hope you were able to understand this video. If you found this helpful, then please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of these programming videos. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.